What up, YouTube? We back at the gym. Got some clear weight isolate from my protein and got that pre-workout my protein 45 percent off use code aftermath you already know what it is 45 freaking percent off like yeah if, i don't even, i don't even, my child that i don't have can afford that you know what i'm saying so 45 percent off definitely grab some of that today we're going to hit our i think our backside backside training what you guys saw earlier was the front side training now we're going to do backside training which is going to be probably some deadlifts today um hamstring curls backside stuff uh back training um and yeah like i said we're doing front back side to side training you know one two three rest one two three rest um mixed with uh my rugby training on tuesdays and thursdays now mondays and wednesdays tuesdays and thursdays because i'm doing sevens training on mondays and wednesdays so that being said i'm taking some pre getting started and uh let's uh let's test out the new video i got today <laughs> All right, so starting on that back side, we're gonna work far away from the bottom on up. And uh, pretty much we're gonna do calves, starting up with some just standing leg raises, uh, weighted for about four or five sets of 20 reps. This will be the only calf movement we're gonna do today because my calves get tight very quickly and I don't want to uh, just kind of like overdo it, especially when I know I gotta run for you know practice and stuff. So four or five sets, 20 reps, just all the way at the bottom, stretch all the way at the top. I like to put my arms right here like I'm, you know, caressing something nice, you know. Ah, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, calves are one of those things that make me want to throw up. Love it. Try. Love it. Ah. Ah. There's a time and place to do heavy, heavy calf raises and not heavy calf raises. It's more about volume. Today is more about the volume endurance of them. We're not going like crazy heavy on them. I don't think I would be able to survive practice tomorrow with sore, super, super sore calves. All right, so now we're gonna do single leg hamstring curls and moving up from calves to our hamstrings. A lot, a lot of things that I see, you know, when doing these hamstring curls, is the very slumped over position right you know now for us when we're athletes we want to focus on being a little bit more upright squeezing the glutes you can't squeeze the glute from right here if you can squeeze the glute from right here then you i don't know i don't know what to say but as we're running we're going to be in this more upright position so i like to focus on squeezing the glutes right squeeze first boom and then pull up now you're not gonna be able to get that boom, full range pull like you do when you're bent over because as you're bent over, you're opening up more. I wanna shorten that and focus on this right here. One, two, pushing my hips into the pad, squeezing the glutes. Three, separating the connection between a glute squeeze and a hamstring squeeze. Four, uh, six, uh, Seven, yeah, eight, yeah. We're gonna do eight reps each leg, about a second hold. We're gonna do a, what is it? A zero, one, zero. All right, set two. I like your little shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Oh, I 
Ah, oh. oh. feeling good today. Hamstring's legs feeling good. I got a blister on my toe, and uh, it's bothering me a lot right now. It's so crazy how like a, such a small injury can just make you such the biggest bitch. Like for real. Like I wanted to do like running, jumping kind of stuff today, and I don't, I don't think I want to anymore. I got this crazy turf burn on my leg. It was all black, but I have a problem, so I picked it all off. I picked off all the scabs, and uh, this is what I'm left with. See, one thing that I, I, I just did right there that I want to tell you guys is uh, try not to like arch the back. I'm trying to push my back in. I'm trying to, instead of like this, I'm trying to be more like this as I'm squeezing. Because if, if I'm doing this, then all I'm doing is like this right here. So squeeze the glutes. One, you're, you're gonna realize that you're not gonna be able to go up as high as you can when you do it like this. Three, four, yeah. five, uh, six, seven, favorite machine a lot of gyms don't have this but I can work on my frontal bringing my knee up I can work on my lateral you know from the side or I can work on my backside the glutes today we're gonna focus on the glutes when that knee up and I'm pushing back as I'm scraping the ground continue with a straight leg one two knee up three Four. You can do this with bands if you don't have this machine. Five, six, one. I want to be forceful when I'm scraping that ground. Two and kicking back. Three, four, five, six, ah, seven. Hey. All right, now that I got it down, I'm gonna put this weight up. Two, three, four, eight. Switching it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. This is five sets of eight, by the way. Eight, about four or five sets of eight. I've been doing these. Hey, look, fellas, don't, don't deny the booty workouts, bro. Don't deny the booty exercises. First off, it's gonna help you with your squat, your deadlift, your thrust game, right? Because the stronger contractions I feel when I'm squeezing the glutes, the more bait feels is as well. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, yeah, gotta, gotta, gotta give her something to grab. Gotta give her something to grab. You feel me? Working on that roundness. <laughs> All right, we got one more set. Let's go. Get it going. I'm carbon fiber soul. You have a carbon fiber soul. Uh, it's these things in my shoes that give me a lot more power production 
power output and power production. Turn on. Stop trying to sound smart. You're stupid. Uh, <laughs> power output and these. I took the soles out. You replace them. All right. And uh, they've been helping a lot with, honestly, not even just like the output. It's just like, for some reason, I don't have as much nag and pain after my exercises when I'm doing a lot of jumping and plyometric stuff. So I take them out, put them in here. I take them out of here, put them in my cleats for practice. And uh, it makes my legs feel a bit more um, recovered. It's, it's weird to explain. It's just, they, they just, they just don't bother me a, a lot after uh, exercise. All right, we got trap bar deadlifts. The reason why I'm doing trap bar deadlifts, once again, is because I can focus on using my glutes more. I can focus on not having to, to have too much lower back come into play. And I can focus on lifting a heavy amount of weight, period. These plates are all 45s, by the way, even this red one. All right, so I got set to five. I'm gonna start with four plates. I think this thing is 100 pounds, so I believe so, because this shit is heavy. Or at least, at least 75. So my toes are pointed out when doing these just so I can get a little bit more of a, a glute feel rather than close stance. Usually I do like a close stance, you know, type of thing but toes out a little bit, squatting down, hips back first, and then I explode up. Make sure you guys follow my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. Would much appreciate it. Also my Instagram and TikTok at FB Aftermath. Show some love, come through, game with me. You already know. I'll stop right there. As time gets on, we'll be doing that for reps. But today, no, 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 no. Remember when I tweaked my back, deadlifting with uh, with pitbull? Yeah, 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 yeah. We gonna we gonna take it slow. 
I ain't did this in a minute. We're gonna take it slow. We're gonna hit these back. We do these rows. And we're just gonna have a nice, good workout, okay? Safe, nice, safe workout without me messing up my back. <laughs> 